talking of Na'Vi, Quasar had their opening game v Na'Vi. They got 12 rounds, Harry. 12 rounds. Pretty respectable, Pretty respectable right? indeed. Knowing what Na'Vi are like, especially against CIS opposition, though, when, when they play teams from their same region, we know they can have trouble at some time. Not just talking about the old Akuma situation, but in general, Na'Vi, top, uh, top five, top one in the world, or top three in the world maybe right now, top five in CIS. So not a shocker. Yeah, it's always the way. Yeah, I hope to see Mouse come in and, and give us some more confidence, though, after losing their opening game. This is a match they should have no caveat on. They should be winning uh, for Quasar. It's a learning experience, and maybe they can upset. Let's see. Yeah, you know, it, it's kind of like a, a super liberating position, I guess, to be in for Quasar. It's like, if you win this, everyone sits up and goes, wow, wow that, yeah. that shouldn't have happened. And if you lose it, everyone goes, well, of course you lost. It's Mouse, <laughs> like, you know? So uh, kind yeah. of a unique pressureless environment to be in. A uh, little wrap in towards Temple wow. for Quasar. They're going the deep, wrapping CT and trying to fight for this control. However, Dexter tears through them with his USP, and that was the bomb. Oh. And even Stay JDC's crouched. copping shots, mate. Stay no crouched. one's safe from Dexter, not even his own team. Yeah, it's awkward. I actually really like the idea there, but Mal's were completely leaning out of A. So as Quasar ran through the empty bomb site, they ran into the rotate. The bomb is lost. If they had it, it would be a post plant right now. But this is a very strange situation. Welcome to the West. Welcome to, well, so West we've gone East. It's Australia biting back. And now Mal's just sit on that package like a mother hen with her egg. Dexter tucked in the corner. Quasar got to just run it into the, the death. Uh, the death hallway, we'll call this. The death hallway, yes. yes. Population rapidly declining. Here's Dexter. <laughs> Woo, that's getting okay. overwhelmed. It's getting a little bit weird now. There's still the issue of not having the bomb, yeah. and that was always going to be the problem. No matter how you tried to slice it, I think getting a bit ahead of themselves with the CT wrap there, sending the bomb in, really did spell disaster. Lovely round out of Dexter, even with the damage to uh, to Young Gun JDC, who got caught up in amidst it all. <laughs> yeah, Dexter did have a kid, little German guy. Of course, had is the operative word what there. Happened? Put one in the back of his dome, didn't he? Stop ruining my dreams, JDC. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, this was a map that Quasar got 12 rounds against Na'Vi on, right? So even even more impressive. Uh, you know, not the most common map to be C coming through in BO1s, but Miles are happy to beat them there. It was a five-round T-half where they started, and they actually had a, a decent defense as well with seven. So starting T is never fun. But... Clean on the rifles, mostly. Nothing. Oh. Nothing should really happen here. Like they, they left. No. The, I know, and I've said that as they get a kill with the eagles. But they left the bomb in spawn. It's like a super long journey to go and get that back. That's always a bit find concerning. It. And there is this player over in the B doors. Dexter's not going to go aggressive. He does kind of play it pretty respectfully. Could have discovered the bomb if he kept going, but is now in a good position to shut down this push out through the double doors. Still, anything less than like two would make you worried, uh, and none makes you really worried. Oh dear, there's a big invitation in towards B right now. B Mask gonna try and hold the line. Got the Eagles to go up against. Out with the swing, first kill found. B Mask still traded after the first. It's Spirit to lock that one in and open up a plant. JDC's creeping up the short side. Spirit here Ooh. doesn't even have to go that far. Deegged out by Lazuka, and it's only Frozen left standing. One versus three. Oh. They peek ah. him together. No. Oh, that's a lovely transfer for Frozen. The nade, nade could be big. Lazuka's just gone away, just hidden from it, just tucked himself in. Smoke, tap, but it is the commit. Frozen nails the shot. It's going to be pretty it. close, but I think he's got it. Mouse. Yeah. Looking for their second as Frozen pulls off a 1v3 to make it happen. Oh, Lazuki even ran from the nade before he knew he considered it. 
but Frozen, they double peek him. They should win it off that peek alone. They're double facing with Deagles, and he just uh, sprays them both down. Very awkward. Lazuka had to go as well. I even like the, the little detail of the smoke for Frozen. It's not like he drops the smoke on the bomb, which lets Lazuka get up and spam the smoke. He throws it close to the round. That forces Lazuka to run. He has to fight him immediately before the smoke blooms, because otherwise he has to walk through it late. And Frozen might have a kit. That's the fear. He didn't know. The only way to win that one is call his bluff. Here we go. 2 0. Ways are walking to A. Four in through main. It's only JDC here. Famas in hand. He hasn't even got a skin. It's that bad. Who would buy this weapon? He says. Oh, you mean I'm playing default? Fine. They're running at him, flashing, frozen, drawing the attention. JDC lines up two, but the Famas never good for two, Ooh, only th good for one and a half. I think the gun uh, actually soaked yeah. up a bunch of those bullets. Would make it sense. looked like it did. Oh, that's kind of awkward. It's left you in a very weird spot yeah. now. There's even a big rap coming in. Oh my god. Lazuka with the backstab, oh. good for one. BMAS going to trade that out. Backzor 1v2. A tickles him, AK can't win the fight, and so Dexter with the wide swing will lock in the 3-0 for Maus. That was a rifle round brushed aside, a bit of a bonus for Maus, so they're pretty content with how that one pans out. Going to get the AWP out of there, going to have an M4 for Dexter to don, going to have an M, there we go, he's got it. Yeah, he was looking for an AK, but no, I think you're right. I think the bullets did shoot into the, the gun drop after the first kill came in, because that it looked like I it. Mean, it's bad. I like to meme the FAMAS there, but... Yeah, there was yeah, one the connection. Gun, the gun went flying, right? It yeah. looked like it hit it twice. It looked like it hit it ah. twice. I saw two little metal sparks fly up. And that's definitely, yeah, the gun just soaks the bullet. I've seen players shoot nades in the air by accident, and it just takes the, the damage out of it. Little ledge molly. Uh, Quasar want that B lane control, and Mao's doing the run boost. Rushley would be proud. Right up there molly goes Horshi. Oh, oh no. dear, you would have loved the molly. You would have needed the molly but you're not going to stop Torshi. Yeah, that is a real false sense of security. JDC at the big box Ooh, with the spam. Good for a double. Chased down by Shady. And even though he's going to deal with that, it's still slim chances he wins this. Could call him the Slim Shady, right, oh, as he's creeping his way I was in, in towards this A site, trying to lock it down. Frothy's still holding main. Da -da 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 -da. I like this from Maus, man. They just let it grind to a halt. They say, look, you're wanting us to push, Quasar. You're wanting us to come to you. Well, you're the ones on the clock. We ain't making no moves. We're going to wait till you back up into our crosshairs. And out in the open, oh, it's going to die as well. Maus, 4 and 0. Oh, and a very clean round to get them there. Yeah, Mal's not making mistakes right now. They're looking pretty solid, aren't they? Some clutch rounds coming through. A missed molly costs, uh, costs them. Costs, uh, costs them a, an early kill. And I can't believe you used the Slim Shady line in round four, Harry. Yeah. Come on. I have one for later. Don't worry. Okay. But dear, oh dear. Beating right now. It's CT Ancient. It's never easy. Frothy, frothing at the mouth, running it into That's the B-bomb side. Yeah, B-mass helps out as Dexter gets a triple. The triple assist is not quite as fun, but Shady acting like he's never seen a mouse person before, and Frozen will pick him out of middle. You ever seen a mouse person? Five of them are on my screen right now. They're on fire, Harry. We're cooking with gas. We're cooking Spend mice. Spend a lot of time in the cat cafe. Make a lot of sense, you go. Meow, XP. <laughs> Five and out. Oh. And another orb. Only down a middle early. Oh. And Very lax on the B default. They've been doing a lot of A main walking in this T side already. 
Miles have yet to take the lane back with the exception of that run boost round. This time it's just Torshi spotting middle. And Frozen helping out from Donut. Top red smoke. In it goes. Now they can start to take mid late, but what do they want to do with it? You know, we talk about the Cat Cafe, Miles. They've always found a way to land on their feet in these yeah. rounds. Like buttered toast. The foot of the toast is yeah. the best part. Delicious. Creeping through main is shady. The bomb's going to join him. Grouping for the A hit. JDC does have support in Donut. Going to try and cross back to default. Just gets here in time. Now, I thought he was spotted. He still nails the opener Ooh. and is able to make it a double. Tagged by the AWP, but still not deterred. Able to keep peeking from inside of the site, trying oh. to deliver even more. Frothy's going to deal with him, but he's plunged into the one versus four and silenced by Frozen in the Donut. Someone needs to give Frothy a rabies shot right now. Looks like this rabid Mal's has bit him. Still frothing at the mouth. Six rounds in. And silent one was our halfways are. Yeah, it's so hard to remember which one I'm calling. It's gotta be Quasar. Yeah, I don't want yeah, I don't yeah. wanna I don't want it. No has no no, I believe be. you, I believe you. I'm trying to be consistent. I'm failing at being consistent. It's like anything. Like Quasar's a word as well. Yeah. Quasar is just a normal. No, no, no. So you're right. Here we right, go. Right. Up through the ramp. Dexter hasn't really been dealt a fast B yet, but he's going to hold the line with the first, even spamming the bomb. So if anyone tried to run that path, they would have been on the receiving end. Dive into the B site. Right now. Quasar suffering from the bends as they've been meandering their way around B. Now trapped in the site, right where Mao's want them. It's a tag for Spirit, good for the first. Even a dink, but can't finish what he started. Uh -oh. They see Shady and they flush him out. So Mao's 7 0, oh, still flawless on this CT side. Still keeping the good times rolling in. Yeah, this is a bit of a reality check right now, isn't it? Quasar may have wanted a bit of Ancient, but it doesn't want them back. It's not treating them too kind. Mal's playing very well right now. And I think, you know, losing your first game when you're a team that I think many expect Mal's to be in the running, to be making it to that next stage, into the Major. I don't think they're looking to go down 0-2 and get upset by maybe the biggest underdog in the entire tournament for this region, at least definitely a team without any of the experience of European CS and what it has to offer. You know, looking at the HLTV, they actually played a qualifier in uh, for, for a European event, but uh, they got 16 won I would love to know what their ping was for that game, to be honest. It was getting packed. Well, let's go on the, uh, the deep, the deep molly in mid for Donut. Oh, Utah raining out onto the B site just to delay this push. Quasar looking like they want to try and go for it. Shady, that was kind of the golden opportunity to get a man advantage early on. Beamass wanting to fight hard for this. Oh. Will get flashed off the angle. And nice. The deflector shields came down right at the end there, but yeah. still, you know, just a little too late. We saw how the sausage was made. It's not pretty. The key is meat. Oh, flashback in. Past the orb, Shady doesn't get the shot on. They're still holding for mid. They're hoping that Mal's going to aggress mid and climb up. Dexter gets flashed out by his teammate. Not too pretty. He'll give it up. That's fine. Four kind of a shame that that flash yeah. wrecked him. Everyone Roll else was, was looking. looking at Cave. Like, no one was considering a ramp aggro this late here. in it. And he's still hanging around. Now, considering they heard him, uh, this this could actually be bordering on too ballsy for Dexter. Let's see if he's able to make it work. It is low HP on Shady's AWP at the other side. There's Util getting lined up by the second man. He doesn't decide to go on the util pull. Good he's luck. just going to hold his ground. Here they come. Round the oh. corner. Double up for Dexter. 
And he's made it work. Torshi helping out from the long cubby. And the bomb plant oh. denied for oh. now. They try to t chase Torshi down as Dexter is still applying pressure from the ramp side. Wow. Runs the gauntlet and deals with the sight man. It's all on Spirit, who was just so far removed. He's getting out with the AWP. That's his consolation prize. Oh. And even then, good save. Dexter did come and knock him, did come chasing. Yeah. Thankfully, he just got away. You've at least got the AWP to hold on to, at least got an investment around it, but there's no ignoring. You're still yet to even make a dent on this T side. Dexter the flexor, man. That was really, really nice. He even faked running through the smoke uh, when there was that solo player stuck at the bomb site. And, you know, made him look for smoke. And then the second time he actually ran through. Good timing to do so because he was getting chased down from T spawn. That late player uh, coming in off the back of, you know, trying to hold mid. And Mal's never aggressed back up to, to flank because everyone and me held their own. Torchy hit his shots. Dexter did the same. Trying to put this orb to good use for a pickup B is Shady. Hiding in the shadows is Dexter. Not giving up anything. There's a little pixel gap here. Drops a smoke. Careful. He doesn't peek before it blooms. Playing very careful. Spam is close. Razor will hold on. Could boost up this orb after the smoke if they want. Shady's holding for this very passive. And for Maus, I mean, you know, they're doing it right now. But I think the, a lot of the key is that the CT side is just not making mistakes, not getting too cocky, pushing through, you know, get, you know trying, to, trying to flank T-spawn. Don't do any of that. And Quasar's slow defaulting is not getting given anything. We're at the minute mark, and they haven't even seen a player yet. Finally taking some mid-control. Dexter flashing a cave peak. Frozen, spotted, can swap sides, or even peek with the nade. He's even got JDC to help him out from the other side of Frozen. Calls for support. They both peak. They both win. And JDC will leave Frozen to die, but that's fine. Maybe he can take down one more with him. JDC just wants to keep that A site open. Nade is a problem. Frozen won't live, but that's fine. Four on three. 30 seconds to take this site. Yeah, sometimes the best thing is just to leave a man behind. Feed him to the wolves. JDC still alive and kicking. And with support from Torshi moving in, it is a quick mow down for the NXT boys up here on Maus. They lock that one in. They lock Quasar out of the, uh, the donut wrap into an A play. And I mean, nothing's really working right now for Quasar, right? They don't have anything they can lean upon. Uh, I think you kind of nailed it in the sense of they're not getting given any of these early fights that the default is really hinging upon. And whenever contact's made, you know, it's kind of on the, the whim of Maus. That shot was gnarly. We didn't catch it from Torch's wow. POV. But he, he's feeling it today. There's no weak link right now, is there? Mal's playing very safe. Fast B play. And Dexter, he's in the cave. He can give it up after one. Good shot. Sees the bomb. Lots of info. Boost up over the top. Torshi's getting chased. Got to be very careful. Mac 10 in his face. We know this guy can shock an orb, though. Oh, it's frozen through the smoke instead. Dexter might just go for it. Give him a yeet. Flashes into the site. Shady with a good spot. Takes two with him. Oh, JDC trades. That was the only way to win the round, to get that control for the post plant. Now the bomb smoked off is Lazuka. 1v3. And they're not even on it yet. They just oh. want the kill. They want oh. all the glory. He's hitting tag. Oh, no. He he's out. He's got another. 1v1 for Lazuka. And Lazuka, the bazooka, might just blow Maus out of this round through the smoke. But he's dead to JDC. And Maus hold their flawless score. Ooh, that was close, man. That was so close. Mao's even getting like a little bit, little bit confident while saying yeah. the 3v1. They were they were team damaging the smoke push player. <laughs> so he heard the tag, knew someone was close, and then just starts spamming the smoke. Tries to get his own, you know, happy esque smoke shot D clip. This time on H over towards B stairs and on B ramp rather. You know, it, it, it's a it's a nice try. I don't think you really could have asked for more. JDC. Getting off the bomb, just having confidence in his ability to win the 1v1 is a nice showing. And the score just continues to build for Maus. Flash into cave. This time, BMAS isn't caught oh. by it. Boost's getting employed. Molly kills coming out. 
And uh, you, uh, to be honest, this sounds silly to say it 10 but I've actually liked Quasar's start of rounds. I've liked their defaults. They've been very methodical. They've tried lots of new stuff, but Mao's individually are wrecking them, and they have really good setups every single time. The, the, every you know, five rounds are throwing in this run boost. The B players are trading, playing for Cave, not the bomb site. Torshi's not missing. Like It's not like Quasar have looked like complete fools here. They are just getting bullied individually. Shady just gets out before JDC peaks T spawn. But they're coming for him. They've got the bomb. Dexter running it. Shady starts walking early just in case. And that's the right play. But will he check the corner with the orb? Very difficult to do so. And it's the wrong corner. That's the wrong number. 11 0. And Dexter, he's having a great day in the office right now. 16 and 4. Nothing stopping him. And yeah, just. The Mal show, baby. It's kind of what we wanted. Just maybe not this dominant. I mean, you know, you have to shoot for the stars. If you quasar right now, it's Mal saying goodbye, moon men. A B fake for Lazuka. Just trying to hold lane down. We'll have Dexter to go up against. Now, if he's able to win this, that would actually be a lovely start for Quasar. Although Dexter isn't going to overextend, isn't going to hang around. Doesn't want to be that problem area to fall apart. Oh, right. okay. Wall of Smokes on the A site. It would be, be better if they were using it, but it is a fake. It's drawn three players over for Mal's, but as said, individually, they've just not been missing. They're going to use this to try and get out Donut into A. Quasar bringing in some new stuff, but that's the bomb first. And Frozen shuts down too, and that's what I mean. It feels like every Mal's player goes two for one in their positions, and that's not if there's more than one. Quasar has shown us some cool stuff. Even the pistol strat of running through Temple all the way to CT spawn. Yes, they got destroyed, but it's just something different. Trying to catch Mal's off guard. They found the MTB site. They found the gap. Trying to smoke off those rotates. Right now, Torshi's the only guy playing into this round, and he's getting crept upon through long. He's not ready. BMAS does kill that mid lurker. Bomb needs to hurry up and come through cave. They've got a window of opportunity. They need to seize it. Shady. Creeping in, Lazuka. Oh, trying to help oh, him, trying to help no, him with the cross, no, but no. now off the angle. That's given ah. a bite over. They will respond with the kill, but the bomb's dropped and it's a double up for JDC. Yeah, Mr. So Multi Kill again, right? You said it. I mean, it also, it feels like whenever you kind of make these missteps, if you're Quasar, just the tiny little errors, you would be shocked yeah. how much a, a kind of more experienced team like Mao's are going to exploit them. They had to believe in their own strat there. They had to believe that Mao's had rotated out of the bomb site. They'd done what they needed to do with that wall of smokes. They pulled everyone off of B. But then, even though they killed Torshi here, they don't think Cave's clear. I mean, he's looking at Cave, he's looking at Default, he's looking at the site. And so, there's just so pass uh, passive, so painful in clearing cave it lets Miles just run through their own utility and, and chase them down if Quasar after they kill Torshi knife out into B and plant they have a 2v3 and they have time to set up but they just didn't believe that Miles would possibly leave B open in this game it's 12-0 Miles feel all the freedom in the world that's like the that's like the first glaring error off the back of a really nice like, idea with those A smokes I'd love to see them use them yeah, right? Like, see what that would actually look like yeah. in an A hit. Because they wanted to go Donut initially, but Frozen doubled up, so it didn't really work. Oh my god, Miles again. Good time. He misses. The shots won't. Yeah, Frozen <laughs> once more. You know, multi kills are plenty. Mid's locked in by Torshi's AWP, and Quasar are just getting torn limb from limb, picked apart by Maus. Just Faxor left, and I mean, you know, wrapping mid with a MAC-10, maybe gets Ward, but even then, wishful thinking, and that's kind of the extent of it, you know. Uh, yeah, I think the... 
The wheels have kind of fallen off the buggy at this point, right? It's all kind of gone out the window. Uh, Quasar, I feel like they're kind of running out of ideas, even though they've had some nice new things that we haven't seen before. They've never worked. But everywhere you go, you're getting multi-killed. Also, I think in terms of this default that they've looked to establish, been kind of easy for Dexter to read. Like, if they go in B, normally there's players B lane early, and he's been pushing the ramp smoke to get that info to listen for footsteps. When he doesn't hear anything, he immediately calls for, like, a heavier A and mid lean. This round's a bit faster, so that, like, flow of information isn't as important, but there's the triple B here early on, as is often the case. Now that you've heard the footsteps, you keep that third man there. Oh, three in cave. And oh, that bounce flash, that is beautiful. That is such a nice pop for Dexter. Uh, they'll pop two off the back of it. Wow, that's just sickening. How that, how that pops so perfectly for the, for the Jag players. Now this Tuck, oh, does he know, does he see him? Tuck player in the corner gets spotted and dealt with by Torshi. Yeah, he took B mass, but with the orb spotted ramp, Torshi doesn't need to re peek. And 4v2, he flashes his next fight, knows he's out left now. That barrel should have been seen. And there's no surprises here for Mao. He's got to smoke your retreat. Oh, a lovely flick for Torshi. And now just a formality to finish off the last player. It's JDC wrapping him from lane. This is about to be a flawless first half for Maus. Quasar, I would love to see them go back to something that involves a bit of misdirection. I think if one thing's been apparent, it's that wherever you, they kind of make contact first on the side of Maus, they just pad that bomb site. And that's really been working for them. That's kind of how a lot of these rounds have boiled down. You know, wherever you see the first man is often where you'll see the fifth man, if you catch my drift. And so it's felt pretty easy for Dexter. I think that's also why the A fake round actually works so nicely in terms of opening up the B play. So this time there is some attention oh. over towards lane, but with him already dealt with, Faxor dying at the hands of Dexter towards the top of B ramp. And now no more noise getting heard and lane being taken. Already Maus are piecing together what's happening in this round. They know what's up. It's only Frothy left in a 1v5. And Torshi will finish him off. So there Ooh. it is, 15-0. Maus may be about to 16-0 them. Oh, he said it, so it won't come true. This is the same team that got 12 rounds against Na'Vi on this map. They can't get one against Mal so far. That, it's reassuring for Mal's. I think that's the way you have to frame it at this point. Like, Mal's are looking good. Mal's are not giving you uh, any reason to enjoy this experience. Yeah, and honestly, that's kind of how it should be. Like, you know, that's kind of how this should look. Yeah. And if you want to look at things for Quasar, it's like, you know, you kind of had like two cool rounds in there that you tried out some things that we haven't really seen before, like with the A smoke wall. Uh, I, I do wish that we had a better idea of like how they wanted to use that. Yeah. But, you know, I've never seen anyone do it like that. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a nice little detail. This is Cyclone's easiest day on the job since NXT. <laughs> Just no challenge. 15-0. What do Miles have? Let's close it with style, boys. Yeah, looking just like an A hit. Keep it simple, stupid as the saying goes. Frozen with like a late mid lurk, gets himself into this corner and could look to wrap these donut players. Now that does hinge on these guys coming out through A to actually find a bit of success. Ooh. And they will get churned up by the first man in donut. No way to clear that. You're hinging on Frozen yeah. being the one to do it. So he's got to react quickly now as his teammates are getting thinned out inside of the site. Oh, They're no. falling like flies. Beamass is dead and Frozen in a 1v4. Gonna have to rise to the occasion. Arm with just a Glock. They know where he is. And he's got the whole world in front of him. Shut out. Quasar get there first. Woo! Boys, we're on the board. Let's go. But uh, yeah, you know, that's something at least. That's something. A pistol round. They had a nice setup. They had a triple mid lean with a solo B hold. Wonder what that would have looked like on a B rush. Would have to be retake with the kit. But. Uh, yeah, either way, Maus kind of walk into the stack, even though they don't know. And Frozen, he wins his fight in middle, but no one else gets anything done on that A site. And Maus, man, they're full eco. They want to make this round difference as clean as can be. So they're just going to get their guns in as soon as they can. I'm counting Maus out in no round. Not even this one. Not even this one. Okay. I would like to assume the MP9s just annihilate them. 
And it's looking good. It's looking nice. There they are, good. lighting them up. There we go. Now, now this is where the going gets tough. Very tough. 15 to 2. Mal's waited around all day for this. Yeah, we've seen some cool individuals on Quasar, but yeah, nothing that's matched the sheer strength of every player on Mal's. Put them together and you've got a terrifying concoction. Quick B pick for Frothy. Stops Torshi running a ramp. He just wants to let loose there and end this game, but he's put down. JDC spams a smoke and finds a uh, killer middle. It's going to be Shady alone there. Can climb up and help B ledge if he wants. JDC is not stopping that play. Oh, see, he doesn't know, but that was fine. No one heard it. But now he's a little bit more paranoid about a peek into B. Also doesn't have support. Yeah, with the game Frozen's having too, like this this is just a terrifying oh. oh no, now you're sandwiched. Now you've got to pick a fight and Run. you've got to commit to it. They're giving nice. you a little window to get out, Shady, yeah. but he'll stand his ground and fights for a double. Locks down the mid avenue, and now it all starts to fall on deaf ears. A B pop is all that's left. Frozen and Dexter moving in, but a double set up here, a bait and switch. Frothy with the swing, and the MP9s tear him down. Quasar get themselves a third. Winning the first rifle. Yeah, little half by for Mal's here, and you know, fast round tech nines through cave. Something of the sort would be nice. We can see, you know, Mal's are anti to end it, and you can't blame them. But a couple of nice shots getting put in place. The setups, pretty easy for Quasar. Two at B tucked in. Shady doesn't panic in middle when he knows he's sandwiched. And Mal's are going to go for that broken buy towards B. Nothing better to do in a round like this, and certainly still winnable. Gonna go fast through the cave side with a couple of players. Frothy tucked in. He's alone, but good position. Very hard to clear. JDC tries to jump peek it. Frothy wins. Bazooka, they're already in the bomb site. He doesn't know. He's so blind. They have to push cave, and they do win that jag fight. Luzuka goes back for more. JD picks up that DP player, and they've seen Torshi as well. So five alive, and there it is. Quasar. You know, again, they got 12 rounds against Na'Vi. I do want to reiterate that. This is a beating against Mal's, but it was just a, a steamroll. It was just momentum getting out of control. And Quasar just couldn't find a way in to it. even go, okay, this worked. Let's exploit that. They only had one or two 2v2s two in that entire half. Most rounds are pretty decisive. So there is something to this team, but up against 15, I don't know if we'll see it. Yeah, I mean, hell, dude, if... Through some insane feat, they were able to pull this back. You'd have to be like, wow, okay. And also, a party would have to sit here and say, man, if only they did anything on the T side, yeah. you know? Like, you can see how problematic T sides can be here on Ancient, how they can yeah, yeah. spiral when it just feels like nothing's going right. Now into mid, a missed shot for Shady. Now, Lazuka's gonna go back. Up here on the ledge, the smoke's starting to fade, and that's where the pincer comes in from the double doors. Frozen, that's more like it. Double kill over in mid. Or on the mid players, rather. And JDC is going to take it one step further. This is looking more par for the course for Maus. Just two away from bringing this one to a close. Shady's very, very low. The other players all the way over at B and Frothy. And the A site is wide open. Mauser about to move in. Pretty much uncontested with uh, JDC as well. Hello. Pushed into oh. red. He's in a really good spot to cut out the rotation oh. to get rid of this man coming in. Now Frothy will win that fight. Shady's still alive here in Temple. Could spiral out of hand. It could get weird, but in a four on two, you're always going to lean in favor of Mouse, regardless of who's in the server. Let alone when you think about the scoreline we're at. Torshi holding this angle, nails the shot, and it's only Shady left. Left to do the honorable thing now. They want it. They're coming in for they the backstab. They could have the knife, but I think B Mass now frozen. Just going to steal it away. And there it is. Mouse, they pick up this victory. Wasn't quite the 16 0 of dreams, but they'll still take that one. Very, very one-sided game.
And they're now 1-1 in the group. Yeah, no complaints for Miles. I mean, if, if that game got too close, you would get a little worried. You know, I'm not too shocked that Na'Vi fell a few rounds that way as well. It, it could have happened. You know, we saw some individuals shining through. Uh, if, if maybe there were some T rounds that you could rely on and go, okay, this works.